Hey guys and welcome! As you may have seen on Instagram, I did take a bite from one of my snakes. And that was sweet, sweet, sweet Barnaby. And Barnaby, as you may know, is a California king snake. And they do have this reputation of being kind of aggressive. So this bite really doesn't help that. But I really do want to point out that this bite was completely my own fault. All the bites I've taken has been my own fault. And not because that the snake is evil or anything like that. The reason why Barnaby, she bit me was because I was going to clean her terrarium. And I just stuck my hand in there to take out one of the hives without checking if she was underneath the hide. So she thought that my finger was a mouse and she grabbed it. She let go immediately after because that she can feel that I'm way too big a prey for her and that I'm not a rat or something like that. So she let go immediately. And I could take her out right after without any troubles, without her being aggressive, biting, hissing. There was nothing. She was just as sweet as she usually was. It was purely because I was so stupid that I just put my finger in there without checking where she was. But bites like this, they do tend to happen and there's nothing wrong with that. Snakes, they do react purely by instinct. So we really need to remember that because they don't do it because they're evil. They do it because they think that food is coming or maybe because they're scared depending on the situation. I want to take a chance to talk a little bit about what a snake bite feels like, how you clean it and in general what to do when you're bitten. And as you can see, I suffered a massive attack on my finger. I really do think that most of all it was my uh, pride and ego that was hurt. But I want to begin with what what a snake bite feels like. And I have to, it's a bit difficult to explain, but you have to remember that their teeth are like tiny needles. So you don't really feel that much. It kind of feels like, how can I explain? It kind of feels like the sound, like <laughs> If that makes any sense at all. Like it's it's these tiny, tiny spikes that you kind of get like like this small wound from. Uh, I don't think a snake bite hurt that much, not at all. Uh, I think that a bite from a cat, for example, or a bite from a rat or any other kind of rodent hurt much, much, much more than a bite from a snake. But it, that's kind of what it feels like, like tiny, tiny teeth, uh, tiny little needles, I think. Then there is the question, what to do when you're bitten? If the snake does let go immediately, you don't need to do anything further with the snake, just leave it alone. But if it's still stuck, that can be uh, a, a serious matter-ish. Most of the time, snakes, they will let go by themselves, but if they don't, you may have to like uh, force them to let go. But I've never ever had that happen with a snake. Uh, I've only had that happen with my yellow-headed water monitor just now that we really had to like force her to open her mouth. But most of the time, snakes, they just let go. The next thing you can do, uh, like I usually do, is that I just clean it off with regular water. If you are afraid that there might go infection in the wound, can be a really good idea to like take a soap bath, you know, just to make sure, uh, put your finger in some water with some soap, just to make sure that there is no infection in it. Once that's done and you've cleaned it up with water again, pretty much what you can do is put on like, I think they're called a plaster, is that it? Anyway, you can put on one of these. If the bleeding still continues a little bit and maybe you're just feeling annoyed that you're running around with this wound, it can be a good idea to put on one of these guys. Usually whenever I get bitten, I put a plaster on for like a day and then I take it off to let the wound get some air and to just heal by itself. I've never ever experienced any issue with a snake bite. I never had an infection in it. Nothing has gone wrong. Like it's pretty much treated like the same way you would treat a bite from a cat or a bite from a rodent or something like that. The last thing I want to talk about is how to prevent prevent the bite. Like with me, with this thing I did right here, that was totally me being stupid. So the first thing of course you can do is to check where your snake is. So you don't just take them by surprise and they think that it is a prey or they think that it's something scary coming to get them. So pretty much check where you're snaking and let them know that you're here. Usually what I do sometimes, especially with our bigger snakes, if I am to take them out, I kind of like a little bit like wave my hand uh, on the side of them to see if they react and then I touch them on the body. Not on the head directly, but I just touch them a little bit to let them know I'm here. I do the same also with the smaller snakes, but it can be a bit difficult with like Queenie because she's very fast and she will just leave. By that, I just grab them slowly but firmly and take them out. Another thing is that I also once got bitten because I held a pet rat and I was just cuddling it. And then I took out a ball python and then the ball python bit me, of course. Uh, so another thing you can do here is of course, never to touch your snakes right after you've touched a rodent or something that for the snake can smell like food. So remember to wash your hands before handling. But all in all, it's just about being careful. Like, take your precautions. Snakes, they don't bite out of nothing. They bite because they think food is coming or because they're scared or something like that. So remember that. Anyway, guys, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please give the video a like so I know that you like what I make. It really does mean a lot to me. 
And while you're at it, just subscribe on that channel. Let me know guys, have you ever been bitten by a snake or by any other kind of animals? I would much like to hear your story, just post it right down in the comments. Thank you guys for now and bye bye!